Hello everyone. I bring you greetings in the name of Jesus. I welcome you today. I thank you for joining me. Uh, on today, the sermon clip will be entitled, Let Me In. And the sermon is about an unbeliever who's standing before the judgment seat of Christ to be judged, whether he did something good or bad. The scripture reading today will come from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10, and it says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive things done in his body according to that he has done, whether it is good or bad. Amen? Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come before you as an empty pitcher before a full fountain. Heavenly Father, I ask that you bless all hearers of your word, Heavenly Father. Bless them in a mighty, mighty way. Heavenly Father, continue to protect us from the evil one. Heavenly Father, as I spread your truth, give me strength, give me your voice. Reduce me, Heavenly Father, so that people can see you and not me. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. So the unbeliever is pleading his case. And he's saying, Lord, let me in to your kingdom. Because I don't want to go to hell. I realize now, Lord, that every word that your followers, your Christian followers were saying relating to you, regarding you, is the truth. So I know I didn't believe in you, Lord. So let me in because I now believe you now that I see you. Let me in. Lord, I heard that if I repent and turn from my wicked ways and accept you as my Lord and Savior, I shall be saved. Well, I'm willing to do that right now, Lord. I'm willing to do it. Lord, people say that you are forgiven God. You have got to forgive me, Lord. Please, forgive me. I'm asking for forgiveness right now. Lord, I heard that you died on the cross for the sins of man. And I'm a sinner too. Didn't you die for me too, Lord? And so the sinner continues to say, Lord, please let me into your kingdom. Because I didn't know. I know I didn't care to know, Lord, but I'm caring to know right now. Lord, I heard that you are that you love all men. All men, women, children. Lord, I am a I'm your child. Lord, you you created me. Lord, you knew me before I was in my mother's womb. So, Lord, it's not my fault that I turned out the way that I turned out. So, I'm asking you right now, Lord, to let me into your kingdom. Let me into the kingdom. I know that I, I hated my enemies. I know that I didn't love my neighbors as I loved myself. Lord, but I'm willing to love them right now. So, please, please, Lord, I'm begging you, let me in to your kingdom. Lord, I know I told a lot of lies. I did. I told a whole lot of lies, but that's not my fault either because your Christians told me that Satan is the father of lies. So it's his fault. He, he coerced me just like he did uh, Eve in the garden. Heavenly Father, so please, you got to let me in to the kingdom of heaven. I don't want to go to hell, Lord. So I'm, I'm willing to accept you right now, Lord. I'm willing to trust your word right now, Lord. None of this is my fault. None of it. It's Satan's fault. The reason I turned out the way that I did. It's Satan's fault. It's the only thing I got for you people. One day, you will stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And what will the Lord say to you? Will he say, well done, my good and faithful servant? 
Or will you hear him say, I never knew you? I'm Minister Sharon Ford of Spiritual Care of Southwood. May God be with you until we meet again. The kingdom of God is at hand. The time is now to repent. Do it now before it's too late. In the name of Jesus, amen.